What's up beautiful people, this is Mike from My Gets World and I'm here with the exciting news for all the LG OLED 2020 C10 model owners that you guys are actually getting the 120Hz Dolby Vision update so LG hasn't left you guys behind. So right in front of you, you are looking at the LG OLED C10 and I have my Xbox Series X right there and I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. So this TV is right now in developer mode or you call it engineer mode. So the update is not out there for the public yet, but I can assure you that it's working and it's gonna be out in just a matter of a couple of days because that's how we got it for the LG OLED G1. Uh, we got the developer beta or you call it the expert mode update and then they release it for the public. So this update is gonna be available to everyone and I'm gonna show you now what I have. So before anybody says that it's LG OLED C1 because they look almost identical, but it is not, it's LG OLED C10. So I'm gonna take you to the general, where is the name, okay? And you can see that TV information. You can see the model number is OLED 55C10AUA. So this one is LG OLED C10, not the C1. And um, it's a TV that I got a couple of days ago to do the comparison with the Hisense UAG because now I have the C1 and G1. So. Make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you guys will know all the latest updates and everything if you are the owner of the LG OLED C10 and LG OLED C1 and G1. Okay, now I'm gonna take you to the Xbox Series X which is connected to the TV and you can see that all of those boxes are checked. So we're gonna go to the setting, TV and display options into the we are in the 4k ultra hd 120 hertz the way it should be and 4k tv details we have everything working so you can see we have the 120 hertz 60 hertz both the dolby vision support available that's right there and i think you can see that and uh, now we have nothing that is not available in the LG OLED C10. I mean, it can do everything. Only thing it cannot do is there's no game bar or that game dashboard. So if you hit the setting button, so in the new update, you're not getting the game bar, the game optimizer, the different colors, and also that game dashboard. That is only for the 2021 model. So if you're interested in looking into that, I have another video in the description and also at the top here. So you can click on that and you can see that game dashboard. But for me, like it's not a big deal as long as it is doing the Dolby Vision 60 Hz and 120 Hz and you can see that it's doing that. Now, we're gonna go and run the game Forza Horizon 4 and see if we get that Dolby Vision logo on the top right corner. You're gonna see over here that Dolby Vision will pop up and then we will go to the HDMI menu information and see if it is running 120 hertz or not. So we see that Dolby Vision popping up at the top right corner. I'm gonna be doing some testing about how the gameplay is in the Dolby Vision on the LG OLED C10. It has a lower chip as compared to the C1 and G1 but still it is capable of doing this much bandwidth. So it has HDMI 2.1, the C1 has HDMI 2.1, same 40 gigabits per second. So I don't know if processing will matter here or not, but I'm gonna be looking into that, that Alpha 9 Gen 3 versus Alpha 9 Gen 4. That's what we have in the LG OLED C1 and G1, how it makes it different. But right now we have it. We have the Dolby Vision, 120 hertz so you guys are not left behind the guys who were getting sad because 2021 model was getting 120 hertz dolby vision they were like oh we are not gonna get it we just bought the tv in 2020 so now we're gonna be left behind but you know i can assure you that you guys will be getting it sooner than later so just wait for a couple of days you should be getting a public update through the lg website and also over the air you should be getting the update Okay, now we are in the game and all I want to do is go to the HDMI menu and also the secret menu and show you guys we are running 120 hertz in the uh, game mode. So we go up here, we are in the Dolby Vision game mode right there, you can see that. Okay, now I'm going to bring up the HDMI menu by clicking here and expanding it. You can see at the bottom, we are running it in the 
Dolby Vision, and we don't see here whether it's in 120 hertz or 60 hertz. So in order to get that, I'm gonna hit this uh, green button on the remote control for a couple of times until we see that menu there. And also one more confirmation that now the Dolby Vision works with the FreeSync activated. So you can see that my FreeSync is active. I'm running 2160p at 120 hertz, so that's working there, along with the Dolby Vision, which we just saw that output right here. So we have the Dolby Vision working, and we have the FreeSync also working. So if you don't know about that, if we go to the All Settings, and in the picture menu settings, if you go to the additional settings, before we were supposed to keep that AMD FreeSync free Premium off in order to get the Dolby Vision output. But now with this update that's gonna be coming on your LG OLED C10, you will be getting the AMD FreeSync and also you will be getting the Dolby Vision simultaneously. Now you don't have to turn off the free sync in order to just get the Dolby Vision. Now, almost everything has been fixed. If you look at the LG OLED C10 versus the LG OLED C1, couple of advancements in processing power and also the game optimizer and the game dashboard. These are the couple of things over the C10. Otherwise, everything else, if you have C10, you should not be feeling that you are you know, using a 2020 model, it is not like far behind at all. I mean, you're gonna be getting all of these amazing features. So I usually change my TV, if I'm personally talking about for my personal use, it is usually after five years. And some people will say the colors look off in this video. I'm not doing any color testing. I'm actually recording this video from my phone because I was gonna do the comparison video between the C10 and the uh, UAG, but then I got this update, which I wanted to let you guys know. Usually I don't even upload this time. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel for more information, guys. And let me know in the comment section if you are happy that now you're getting everything that you needed, right? Apart from that dashboard. I know that some of the people are still thinking that, what if we got that dashboard? But then we have to give LG some credit that, you know, they have given us whatever they're giving in 2021 models. Only the dashboard is something. So let me know in the comment section how big of a deal is the dashboard thing for you guys. Honestly, for me, as a C10 owner, I got the LG OLED C10 77 inch in my media room and I don't really regret that purchase. That's one of the uh, great deals I got, uh, the money I paid for that TV. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm having no buyer's remorse there. So let me know, know in the comment section what do you guys think about all of this and let me know how happy you are, C10 owners, and I'll see you guys in another video. Until then, peace out. Have a great, oh yeah, 4th of July coming up, guys. So I'll be gone for four or five days. So I'll see you in another video after 4th of July. So have a good one, the last one. See you later.